Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Mungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Did That versus Dr. Floyd's A Clark Was Christ Crucified. And this is video number three, I'm su I suppose. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I do hope, however, that all of us here belonging to Islam, Christianity, or other ways of life for that matter, approach tonight's evening with a loving atmosphere and with an open heart and open mind. It is my privilege and honor to present to you the first speaker, Professor Floyd Clark. Professor Clark is of the Philippi Church of Christ in Creswell in the United States. He is a professor emeritus of the Johnson Bible College in Knoxville, Tennessee. Presently, he travels throughout the world looking after the church groups which belong to his organization uh, and the various mission services organization. And he is at present based in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, professor Clark will be speaking for 15 minutes. Professor Clark. Mr. Moderator, my good friend uh, Hamadidet, distinguished guests and friends, I am so grateful to be here and to uh, participate in this most unusual dialogue. First, may I introduce to you some of my uh, people. Uh, first of all, my a wife, Clara, down here in front, Clara Clark. Um, we are only married uh, five months, and we spent part of our honeymoon in Durban and visited with Ahmed and his family and uh, treasure those moments. On me, with me on the platform also is Brother Richard Bourne, my host uh, this week and a former a graduate, uh, a former student of mine, a graduate of our school and now at work here in London with the uh, uh, Barrett uh, Church of Christ in Hendon, uh, Brother Richard Bourne. Uh, somewhere around here is the fellow that got this all started. Uh, back in 1962. One of my other students was at work in South Africa and uh, uh, succeeded in uh, getting Brother Didat to agree to a public discussion over some of the things which he had said. And uh, thus, this man got launched into a ministry that has carried him worldwide. Al Hamilton himself has been involved in mission work all the way from South Africa to uh, Papua New Guinea, and he and his wife are here somewhere. Uh, Annette. He's lost as usual. <laughs> okay, Al. So delighted to have Al with us. When this came up, I said, you got me into this, you got to be here tonight. Other members and friends, we have Dr. Weidman and his family. Uh, Dr. Weidman is not only a former student, but a, <clears throat> a fellow professor at Johnson Bible College, now dean at Lincoln Christian College in Lincoln, Illinois, and uh, here for a summer term teaching in, uh, in uh, our college here in, in, in the United Kingdom. <clears throat> Uh, may we go to the Lord in prayer, please. Dear Lord, I thank you so much for the tone that has already been set in this meeting and for the earnest words of these who have spoken to the situation. And uh, Lord, I'm grateful that others beside myself are interested in building bridges between 
these people that are so uh, numerous of these two great faiths. And we pray tonight that uh, we shall be able to communicate and to share and that uh, no one will go home this evening without having been profited by these discussions. May your grace attend us, for we pray in the name of our Lord and for his sake. Amen. <clears throat> My uh, preparation for this discussion, as I've already intimated, started many years ago when Al succeeded in getting Brother Ahmed to agree to a public discussion. He wrote me and said, you're going to have to come down and engage in this discussion. And I made preparations to do so, and they were held uh, in uh, uh, South Africa, 1963, uh, one in the uh, City Hall in Johannesburg and one in the City Hall in Durban. But by the time those discussions came around, I was hindered by responsibilities at uh, uh, Johnson Bible College, and I sent uh, my colleague, Dr. Searle Simpkins, and uh, he reported to us later that he had a very respectful hearing uh, from uh, all of the people on both occasions. Uh, I was not able personally to meet Ahmed and uh, exchange uh, views with him until two years ago when uh, I was able to visit Durban and uh, he invited me out to his home and we spent some 14 hours in rather vigorous and often loud discussions. Uh, I then was able this uh, past March and April to uh, return to Durban, and my wife and I were on three different occasions entertained in the Didat home, and uh, my wife enjoyed the hospitality of Mrs. Uh, Didat as well. I, uh, I want everyone to understand that I do not come here to uh, uh, engage in some sort of contest to ridicule my friend or make problems for him. I do not come as an enemy but as a friend, and I value his friendship very highly. <clears throat> uh, before uh, we begin, and I hesitate to do this, not knowing exactly how my words will be taken, but I feel obliged both for Ahmed and myself uh, to, rem uh, to make a remark about what happened last Wednesday night to us, he and myself both here at the Central Mosque in uh, London. I think you were very unkind to my friend because uh, you gave him an assignment. He said he had never had opportunity to prepare to do, and when uh, he attempted to speak to the subject and then turned to other matters, somebody sent a note uh, to him while he was still speaking to get back to the subject. I uh, think that was most unkind to treat a guest like that. And uh, I was also uh, a little bit uh, uh, concerned because you asked me to occupy the uh, speaker's table along with Brother Ahmed but uh, you didn't give me an opportunity either to greet the audience or to speak uh, a word on this subject. And it just so happens that this particular subject uh, that was assigned to Ahmed has been the one to which I have devoted my attention for these last 48 years. Ahmed seemed to have a little difficulty, maybe I misunderstood him, in finding much uh, in the Koran on this subject. But uh, I have uh, found in the Bible, you know, so many things that speak about the relation of God and man. I feel if you had let me have a chance, I could have said something to help my friend out. Please don't do me that way again, and I will appreciate it. <clears throat> the subject, as you have already heard and know for this assignment, to which we are each speaking is, was Jesus Christ crucified? And in order to answer that question, I 
think we understand we'll have to ask at least two more questions. First of all, what is crucifixion? What does it mean when it says Jesus was crucified? And secondly, uh, what uh, or who is this person called Jesus Christ, of whom we are discussing this evening? The uh, practice of crucifixion uh, uh, is defined in Webster's New World Dictionary as the uh, execution by nailing or binding a person to a cross and then leaving this person to die of exposure. In the case of Jesus, the gospel record is clear. He was not just fastened. Uh, he was nailed both through his hands and his feet. The Romans, I'm sure you understand, are the ones who perfected this particular form of execution in order to uh, terrorize the slaves of the Romans. I really wish this video covered more about the crucifixion and just to give a more better insight of what Dr. Floyd has to say, but I'm sure there's a, a video out there that has that content. If you guys know it, please drop the link down below so that I can watch it um concerning most of the stuff that he's mentioned that i have not much to say although i will contribute concerning what happened to jesus because i will always say this people are always going to have christians and muslims are always going to have um differing opinions while others believe he wasn't crucified and didn't die maybe he was just tied up others believe he was crucified tied not whatever it is well whatever it is that people believe that difference is going to go on for more years to come and not many people can do anything about it how you choose to interpret what's written in the bible or the quran concerning jesus um crucifixion is really up to you even though both texts may differ i'd love to believe um the main focus should be on what jesus had to say to the people to the masses or what message he was delivering from god i think that's what matters the most here let me know what you think if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below by giving me the name or the link make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video